I can't believe that we've already reached the end of September, and in a couple days it'll be October. And because of that, I kind of wanted to make a video about the upcoming Jordan brand sneaker releases for the month of October. This is something that I want to start doing for every month now where I highlight the upcoming sneaker releases for Jordan brand specifically for the upcoming month. So next month I'll do November, then December, so on and so forth. So in this video I'm going to be going over some of the rumored and reported Jordan brand releases for the month of October. Remember that these aren't all of the releases that are going to be happening, these are just the ones that, you know, that I've known about and seen on the internet and that these releases and release details can change at any time. Sneakers can get pushed up, pushed back, all of that. You already know how it is. I also wanted to say sorry if my voice sounds a little weird in this video. I do kind of have a sore throat right now, but I just wanted to get this video done, you know, before October hits so that I can let you guys know what's uh, coming up for Jordan Brand. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's go over some of the upcoming releases for Jordan Brand for the month of October. All right, so starting off the list, this isn't going to be like my typical top five list videos because this isn't really a top five. I'm just going to be going a little bit kind of like rapid fire down the list of shoes that are going to be releasing for the month of October for Jordan brand specifically. And um, yeah, like I said, you know, this won't be all the sneakers. You know, there are some grade school pairs that are going to be releasing that I left out left off the list just because, you know, I didn't want to you know make it such a long video. But um, yeah, with that being said, let's get started. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about is the Air Jordan 4 Retro Black Canvas. These are going to be releasing on October 1st for a retail price of $210. So these are going to be kicking off the month of October on October 1st. And I think you guys all know about these. These are very much popular among the community, at least from what I've seen on like Instagram, YouTube. I feel like a lot of people are feeling these. I'm definitely feeling these. They're very simple. They're very clean. And, you know, I, to me personally, the, the canvas material, I'm not that much, you know, hyped for. But uh, I like the shoe nonetheless. It's, like I said, it's a black shoe. You can't really go wrong with it. And from what a lot of people are saying online, there might be a lot of these pairs sold. You know, don't take my word for it, though. I don't know for sure. But, you know, if you really want these, you might have a good shot at getting them. So, October 1st, mark your calendars, the Air Jordan 4 black canvas. Moving on to the next shoe, but sticking on the same day of October 1st, we have the Air Jordan 12 Retro Women's Hyper Royal Colorway. So these, like I said, will be releasing on the same day on October 1st and at a retail price of $200. And just as I said, these are women's exclusive. So there isn't much for me to say about this shoe. It's a regular Jordan 12 colorway. It's got the Hyper Royal around the toe. So, you know, it's kind of simple, black and blue. Uh, if this is something you're feeling, you should definitely, you know, cop it. Uh, it's a women's exclusive though, so shout out to all the women. This one's for you. And, you know, if you're a guy, you can definitely still rock it if you have smaller feet, you know, in that size 8 to 10 range. Um, if you like these, you can definitely still cop and rock. So, yeah, not much else for me to say on these. Air Jordan 12 Retro Women's Hyper Royal dropping on October 1st. Moving on to the next shoe on this list, we have another women's Jordan sneaker, and that's going to be the Air Jordan 3 Retro Black and Gold Colorway. Now, these will be releasing on October 6th for a retail price of $200, and as I just mentioned, they are a women's exclusive. Now, these kind of remind me a bit of like a black cement Jordan 3 colorway, but instead with uh, some gold accents on the tongue, ankle collar, and eyelets, and you know, even if these weren't a women's exclusive, if these were a men's colorway, I don't think I'd really be feeling them, to be honest. And as you all know, I am a Jordan 3 fan. It's my favorite model of, of Air Jordan retros, so, uh, and I'm not, so I'm not really feeling these. Uh, but, you know, that's just my opinion. If you like this colorway, definitely try to pick it up. And, uh, again, they're women's exclusives, so um, if you're a man, if you're a man and you want these, you know, you, you have to have the smaller feet to, to fit but uh yeah that's all i got to say about these let me know if you guys are feeling these black and gold air jordan threes um and they'll be releasing once again on october 6th and moving on to the next pair but also sticking on the same day we have the air jordan 11 low ie or woods now like i said these will be releasing as on october 6th as well 
at a retail price of $185. Now, let me know what you guys think about this one and what you guys think about Jordan Low or Jordan 11 Low IEs in general. This is a, you know, a certain model that I know a lot of people are a fan of, but me personally, I'm not really digging these nor am I really feeling the colorway. Well, actually the colorway is fine. I mean, it's it's pretty basic. There's not much going on, so um, you know, you can't really go wrong there, but in terms of the shoe model, I'm just not really feeling this one, but I decided to, you know, add it on this list uh, and mention it because I know there are some people that are a big fan of these. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of these releasing on October 6th, the Air Jordan 11 Low IE Orwoods. Moving on to the next shoe, we'll be taking a look at another Air Jordan 3 with the Air Jordan 3 SC Winterized. Now, these will be releasing on October 8th at a retail price of $210. And for these colorways, y'all, man, I'm not really feeling them. Every time I look at them, I try to like them in some way, but I just, you know, I, I got to be honest with myself. I'm not the biggest fan of these. They're not the worst Air Jordan 3 colorway I've seen, but um, will I buy these? I personally won't. I think it's still an all right colorway. It kind of reminds me of Uggs, like the, the color of the brown. But um, I, know, I mean, who knows? I mean, it's a fall. It makes sense since it'll be coming around the fall, winter time. Um, I think this will be fine. I'm sure a bunch of people will pick these up anyways. Will they sell out? You know, I don't really know for sure, but nonetheless, they'll be releasing on October 8th for a retail price of $210. So if you're feeling these, definitely try and pick them up. The Air Jordan 3 SC Winterized Colorway. The next shoe on this list is a big hitter in my opinion, and that's going to be the Air Jordan 4 Women's Canyon Purple. Now these are set to release on October 15th at a retail price of $200 and they are a women's exclusive but these will be coming out in extended sizing so men who want to pick these up can definitely pick them up in their size, uh, women's size equivalent. And the reason why I consider these a big hitter is because they're very popular amongst everyone. Um, you know, it's a, the color purple isn't a very common color you see on the Air Jordan 4 and like this nappy suede material makes it kind of stand out. So. Uh, this is definitely one that um, people are going to be after and a lot of people are, you know, have on their list, including myself. So, and this is one that the release date has been moved back and forth, but, um, you know, hopefully this release date of October 15th uh, stays true. So, if you guys are uh, wanting to pick these up, definitely mark your calendars for that. October 15th, the Air Jordan 4 Women's Canyon Purple. Rolling on to the next shoe, I have the Air Jordan 7 SC Afro Beats. Now these are going to be releasing on October 20th at a retail price of $210. And I wanted to include these on the list just because um, I think they're pretty cool. Um, the, the patterns and the colors that you see on the shoe, I, I, I think apparently um, take inspiration from, I, guess, I think, African culture and heritage. So I think that's pretty cool. And I think, you know, overall it kind of it stands out. Um, I'm a big fan of the Jordan 7 model. And something that's also different is on the back of these, it has the Nike Air on it, which is, uh, I think, new. I don't think that's been done because usually it has, like, the 23 or the number on the back of the Jordan 7. So um, but instead, this one has the Nike Air. So I um, wanted to include this on the list, uh, Air Jordan 7 SE Afro Beats. Moving on to the next shoe, I have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Women's Starfish Colorway. Now these are set to release on October 27th, towards the end of the month, at a retail price of $180. And these are going to be a women's exclusive Jordan 1 shoe, so again, uh, sadly if you're a man, <laughs> you're probably not going to be able to cop these uh, for the personal unless um, you have a smaller feet. So uh, definitely, you know, cop these for your lady or for the missus or for anybody, you know, that can fit these because I think they're a pretty solid colorway. It's like orange and brown kind of reminds me of like a Cleveland Browns type of colorway. But nonetheless, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's an Air Jordan one at the end of the day. So I think they'll sell. Will they sell out? That's another thing that's hard to gauge nowadays, but uh, I'm sure they'll sell out. So on October 27th, be sure to keep your eyes out. Air Jordan 1 Retro High Women's Starfish. The next shoe I'm going to talk about is one that's kind of split amongst the community, amongst sneakerheads, and that's going to be the Air Jordan 4 Retro White Navy. Now these are going to be releasing on October 29th at a retail price of $210. And the reason why I say they're split amongst the community is because, well obviously that means, you know, a lot of people like them, a lot of people don't like them. 
for me I kind of lean towards the not liking them um, and that's part partly due to the fact that leaked uh, mock-up images of the shoe um, came out months ago and they looked a little different and I think the way that the leaked versions uh, looked a lot of people like those better and these kind of just uh, are like a white cement for but uh, with navy hints instead of uh, black which is you know I think it's still cool at the end of the day but I don't think I would cop these for the personal just because I'd rather just get a, a white cement for and I know those aren't readily available you know those haven't retroed in a long time but um, you know, I'd definitely still rather have that than these, but nonetheless, uh, I'm sure they'll sell out. It's an Air Jordan 4 with a pretty clean colorway, so if you want these, definitely be on the lookout on October 29th, the Air Jordan 4 Retro White Navy. And the last shoe that I want to briefly talk about on this list is going to be one that differs from a lot of the other ones because it doesn't have an exact release date scheduled yet. And that's going to be the Trophy Room collaboration with Jordan Brand on the Air Jordan 7 model in this 1992 Barcelona Olympics inspired colorway. Now you guys know what it is with Trophy Room. They did a collab with Jordan Brand previously on the Air Jordan 1 a while back and we all know how that went and you know all the news with that but um, they're doing it again this time on the Jordan 7 model and like I said it's, it's kind of inspired by the 1992 Barcelona Olympics that uh, Michael Jordan played in and we all know about that too but um yeah like I said these don't have an exact release date scheduled yet but they are rumored to drop sometime in the month of October so definitely keep your eyes peeled for any news and release details on that hopefully you know for the fa if you're a fan of these shoes they will drop this month uh, in October so um, yeah definitely like I say keep your eyes peeled um, they're rumored to be releasing at a re at a retail price of 225 so you know good luck if, if you're gonna be going after these who knows you know how the release will go but yeah this is one I just wanted to briefly talk about because it is rumored to be releasing sometime in October but you know who knows it could get pushed back to November or even December but for now, they're rumored to release in October. Keep your eyes peeled, as I said, for the Air Jordan 7 collaboration trophy room in this 1992 Barcelona Olympics colorway. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the video. I think that's all the Air Jordan releases that I wanted to highlight for the month of October. Let me know down in the comments below if you think I forgot any. And also leave a comment down below of what your favorite release of the month is going to be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you continue to stick around by hitting the subscribe button. But with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.